Well, the the reason that um, I founded Saving Species, I, I was very fortunate just over ten years ago to get um, the the, um, the an international prize from the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. There's no there's no Nobel Prize in in, in, in in environmental sciences, and Nobel prizes are awarded by the the Royal uh, Swedish Academy of Sciences. But the Royal mm. Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences awards a prize. And with that prize money, I founded my group, Saving Species. Um, and I did that because I was disenchanted with the way that um, the large conservation groups uh, were, were, were doing conservation. They were very anxious to show how many hundreds of millions of dollars they were raising. They were working at, at, at a top-down level where they, you know, they, they, they spend tens of millions of dollars in a particular country. And quite frankly, I couldn't see what they were doing. I couldn't see the, the, the product of, uh, of where all that money went to. Um, and so I wanted to become uh, a spokesman for, for the small people for the local projects that I thought were doing such a wonderful job. And that's what Saving Species does. We empower small local conservation groups looking, working at the local level. Um, how do you scale up? Um, you scale up by doing lots and lots and lots of local projects. And, and that's not a path that the larger organizations have done, and I think that's a mistake on their part. I think you have to realize that conservation is local, that you have to fund people who are not only acting locally, but, but are working, living, spending their lives um, locally. The project we do in Brazil, I like to joke that we use child labor to plant our trees there. And it's true. The kids in the local school mm -hmm. help us plant the trees. And I think that's exactly right, that you have to make local people part of this. You can't helicopter in, and some of the conservation groups do just that. You can't come in by helicopter, spend an hour on the ground and leave. You've got to be funding the people who, who are living there, who are working in the local communities, sending their kids to the local schools, and find ways that make sense for them.